TSN's top 50 continues to be revealed. I guess it's officially revealed now, right? One yeah. through 10 has been announced. And to no one's surprise, Connor McDavid is number one. And I was trying to think of who could legitimately challenge him in the next three years. The answer is nobody. I think Bedard. the answer is nobody. I, it may, it probably will be Bedard at some point. Like it, it could be Bedard in three years. Yeah. But you know, Drysaddle, no. McKinnon, no. Kale McCarr, possibly. Like McCarr, Maybe, if McCarr yeah. continues to just have monster seasons and is a clear cut number one defenseman, then you might be able to make the case that he's on par with him. And it's not that any of these guys couldn't have a better individual season, maybe. Like, McDavid's probably still going to win the Art Ross. But we saw it a couple of years ago. Matthews had 60 goals, won the heart. Didn't mean he was better, but during the year you looked at it, said, okay, that's the man. And that will likely continue. There will be other guys that have great years and challenge about- him on an individual basis per season, but not in terms of the, the overall status. What about Jack Hughes? Like I, I don't think I, he gets that high, Noodles. I think he's a special player, like really special. Like I don't know, I I just for some reason, like watching that guy, like it just seems like he, when the lights gone on for him, mm-hmm. like I think it went on for him last year, like realizing, hey, I'm really good at this, and the timing and the spacing and what he does out there, like. But for him to even get anyone's attention for like a heart trophy, he'd have to get 160 points, I think. Well, but what if he gets 120? You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. he, he he puts himself into the conversation of, you know, top five type of player. Like like in and and again, like Brian, you just laid it out. It's not McDavid probably going to win there at Ross every year. It feels like, but it's it's more if he's healthy. It's more about like who had a year that like stood out. Mm-hmm. And and we have seen voter fatigue. You know, it's like who's the new guy on the block? Like who got sixty? Who did this? Like that's kind of what people are going to look at. I I agree. I think Kale McCarr could disrupt the thought process. He, he's that good. But I, I feel like maybe I'm just on an island on this. I feel like a guy like Jack Hughes, who's so ultra talented, might be able to kiss up in there. But possibly. I just I, I don't think he, he gets up to McDavid levels. You're right. The game slowed down for him last year. And like he is very cerebral. Like he's really smooth with the puck. The guy is yeah. and he's to got see some the dad jump, suit vibes. To see the jump from him at the World Juniors in Vancouver to cuz this kid was touted to go number 1 the whole season and I was at that tournament and I was like yeah he's good but you don't really see what you yeah. what you see now like I that's the one thing I have a difficult time with when I'm at that tournament is like other than Bedard and the real special players like the guy that's just kind of okay at the World Juniors I'm like how do they know this guy is going to be special 5 years down the road but that's what scouting yeah. and that's what the kid projects to be so if there's another jump for him it's scary maybe you're right noodles what he could be in three years well, from now i i just you know what got in my head was what gretzky said last year that's what got in my head like i you know i watch a lot of games and i openly admit like new jersey's on the not on the top of my dial to watch but i did watch a lot of them play last year mm-hmm. and i was like this guy you know you phrased it properly brian like the game did slow down for him like that's what he looked he looked like he found like that comfort out there. And if he finds maybe a little bit more strength and a little bit more, you know, jam in certain situations, like may, I'd love to see what his best season looks like the best yeah. season of his career, if that makes sense. Right. And that's probably still in front of him. I don't, right. I don't dispute that. It just, you see a lot of guys who kind of creep into the top 10 and they're there for a year or two. And then they, you know, drop out. Barkov's an example of that. Uh, a couple of others, um, Where you know, did Barkov land? He's in the, I think, in the was, late teens or early twenties. He was, yeah. He he yeah. dropped back at least ten to fifteen spots. I think really the way it's it might be possible to get on the level of McDavid is if some guy just becomes a massive playoff performer in in wins con Smythe and is like the go to Chuck. Matthew Possibly. Kachuk vaulted up about 10 or, spots, or, I bet, because of the playoffs. Yeah. Or, Not or that he wasn't subtle. awesome. Or maybe dry subtle if he just completely – if it's if it's believed that he dragged McDavid and the Oilers up, which seems right. far-fetched. But it's – you know, because, again, if, if dry subtle's rocking and winning, then that means McDavid's probably rocking and winning. Yeah. Um, here's Mike Johnson, our TSN hockey analyst, joining us here on the Maple Toyota Hotline. 
McDavid at number one on TSN's top 50. No one's surprised by that. Mm -hmm. Um, Who would, if you had to give a vote to someone who could possibly get on his level or push him down to number two in the next few years, who would that be? Uh, I mean, it's unanimous for a reason. It's hard to even think of a forward that could do what he's doing because unless you're going to say Connor Bedard and he becomes something that we don't see that's there just yet. I know Jack Hughes has been incredible, but I don't see him being better than Connor McDavid. The guys around him, the McKinnons, the Matthews, the dry settles, they're all amazing, but not as good as him. The one guy that I could see doing it is Kale McCarr. Mm-hmm. The fact that he wears yeah. plays a different position, so he's not quite going head to head on the same sort of point production levels. He plays defense. So he offers different elements. And if he ever had a 35 goal season and a 90 point season, which is not out of the question at all for Kale McCarr, um, then I could see, and if Colorado does great and he wins the Norris and the landslide and, and McDavid is slows down a bit, he would be the one guy because he, you know, he's playing in the era of McDavid, but what he's doing is also historical. The number of points he scored through the first, whatever, 300 games of his career, it's like Warren Coffey and him. Like, he is right up there the same way as Lemieux and Gretzky and McDavid. So he would be the one guy I could see maybe getting in that ballpark.